We're going to scale our model 9330 indicator and we have with us our model 9330. This is a battery powered handheld indicator that does data log and then we also have our CX box which is a transfer standard. The first step we're going to do is we're going to set the unit. So we're going to make this show pounds and we start by hitting the menu button and it says sensor config then we're going to press OK and then it says set unit so we're going to press OK again and then we can scroll up and down to different unit types in this case we'll select pound and hold in the button OK and then let go and it says OK to confirm we hit it one more time and it confirms that we've entered in pounds. The next thing we're going to do is set the full scale for the calibration. So we're going to hit the menu button. It says sensor config. We're going to press OK. And then we're going to use the arrow up to go to um, sensor capacity. There it is. And then we're going to hit enter or OK, excuse me. And then we're going to enter in, in this case we're going to use 1,000 pounds as the full scale. Um, but if we wanted to change that, we would use the up and down key. So we could go up or down on uh, each digit. And then left and right would move us to the next digit and we could do the same. With the decimal point, if we put the cursor underneath the decimal point and hit the up or down key, it will move it left or right. So once we've done this, then we're going to hold in the OK button. Once it flashes, we can let go and then hit OK to confirm. And now we've set the full scale of the calibration. Lastly, we're going to set the rated output. So we're going to start out by hitting the menu button. Shows us sensor config, we hit OK. Now we're going to hit the arrow up button twice. Now we're at rated output. We hit OK button. And then now we're going to enter in the full scale value, or um, rated output, excuse me, for the full scale value. In this case it was 1,000 pounds. And we're going to use the CX box to um, check our full scale value. So when we look at the CX box, when I turn the dial to 2, it actually gives me an output of 1.9998 millivolt per volt. And that's what we have entered in the screen. Of course, for your calibration, you could enter in any value that you needed. So let's go back to that step. And then once we have the value in, that we need. Remember you can use the up, down, left, right keys like we did on the previous step. You hold in the OK button when it flashes. Now you can click OK to confirm and it's now stored that value in the 9330. We finished the calibration steps now and we're just going to check it using the CX box. So when I turn it to 2, I should get an output of 1,000 pounds. And there we go. So we have a successful calibration.